And we're going to be doing airbrushing. That's my but with an airbrush. Okay. That was the face you made. We can just do that from now on. Yeah. So, the beginning of any airbrushing, we say hi to Bowie. But we do airbrush 101. Hi, Bobo Bean. Are you being cute? Nailed it. Nailed it. Okay, first thing that happens is Jeff does a warm up. And it's usually, hi, Susan. Hi, both Susan. It's usually a combination of dots and lines and circles and swishes. What's up, Betty? So he's just warming up right now. Bubba, what are you doing? Yeah? Hey, Garrick, how are you doing? How have you been? Hello, Holly. It looks like icicles. So, in a moment, we're going to be doing this lip piece. Um, but before that, Jeff's doing warm up. Beat. What um, is the reasoning? Behind these specific warm ups? Just to get your hand and eye coordination in sync, <laughs> and just to get your hand warmed up because there's a lot of pulling and holding this airbrush gets your hand will start cramping up immediately. So if you just start it, your hand is, a, this is just not warm. I haven't airbrushed in a couple weeks, so. Doing the trigger, holding it, you just got to kind of get used to the airbrush for a second. Makes total sense. You just kind of warm up the trigger finger. Warm up the trigger finger. Yeah. That's awesome, Garrick. This lip piece is actually a commission that... Um, Needs to be in its new home by Christmas, so we're wrapping it up so that we can ship it out. Um, if you guys don't know, we're Artists Till Death. We go live every day. It's usually resin, but it's always art. Today it is airbrush. Sometimes we do charcoal. Sometimes we do spray paint. Sometimes we do alcohol inks. But it's always art, and it's always amazing. Hi, Donna. How are you doing? So, if you guys are new, welcome. That's Jeff. I'm Erica. And you already met our uh, director, Bowie. He is right here. Keeping watch. Hiding out in his toy box. Like cute little bean. So, yeah. New ones. Yeah. So usually, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna start with the, the shadow first, so I can make this dark, and then I can just come in with uh, the airbrush and just do these lines because I don't want to do this first, and then put a sticky on it. Yeah. Can you guys hear Jeff? Okay. I know I'm a little bit louder, but I just want to make sure I don't need to repeat um, everything. Put a cavity on a tooth? Absolutely not. We have done braces, though. Have you guys ever thought about doing a 3D painting in layers of resin? Actually, Jeff and I talked about that just today, and we decided we don't have the patience for a month-long painting. However, we're not um, opposed fully to it. Oh, really? That's how you're going to go down? You have something to say. What do you got to say about that, Beans? Yeah? Then what? So to do a 3D... And it's really difficult to see. 
Hey, Christy. So to do a 3D layered piece, it you have to do the resin layer, wait for it to cure before doing the next layer, and then wait for that to cure before doing the next layer. And in between that, depending on what kind of paint you use, you have to wait for the uh, acrylic paint to dry before you can even add the resin. It's really tough to see this. So the old way we would do it was before we add the glitter, we do the airbrushing, but I got really uh, excited to get this piece done and forgot about that process and added the glitter too soon. So we're just making it work. So you'll see some glitter. I got you, Denise. You just let me know when you're ready. I think you should totally try a layered piece if um, you have the willpower and the patience for it. So what Jeff's doing right now is shading in the folds of um, a lip to give it that texture. Praying that those folds are right there. Now he's adding a shadow on the drippies. If you notice, he doesn't put the shadow right on the outside edge. It's inset just a little because there's going to be a reflection of light on an outside edge. Donna says, I love watching Jeff work. He has so many years of experience. He does. And I love watching him work, too. So... Oh, we love you, Denise. Seriously, whenever you're ready. So we're trying to add some tension lines on the lip bite to show um, the bite. Also, yes, that is some glitter popping off because the airbrush is blowing how many PSIs? It's only at about 15 or 20, I believe. Because you yeah. don't need a lot of air. You don't need a lot of uh, air to, to... You're basically just pushing the air through and the paint is falling in and pushing out. If it were a, a siphon then it would take a lot more air pressure to suck the paint out of the bottle and push it out, basically. Gotcha. He Five typically minutes. works at um, in the 15 to 20 PSI range. So that's going to blow some of the loose glitter off, which is okay because it would have gotten bumped off in transit anyways. How do you work so well without a reference? I guess I've been doing this. This, you get used to what, you know, doing stuff like this. Ooh, sorry. Um, almost fell. You just kind of. Uh, get used to it. I mean, you just kind of, you just know where everything goes because I've done it for so many times. Hello, Megan. Hey, Carol. How you doing? And so with this piece, um, I accidentally made the background a bit splotchy, which is going to be just a fancy way of saying uh, splotchy. And so Jeff's actually going to do some kind of design in the background. See if we can hide that a bit. Hey, Tim.
came out right. Good. That one, but that's all right. So now he lowers the lip cut out, I mean the teeth cut out, and then he offsets it um, a little bit to create the lip shadow onto the teeth. And the direction of your offset just depends on what light source you're using. Well, this really doesn't have a light source because there's so much everywhere, so, but I just do it down and then just a little bit to the left. And you really don't need a lot of paint doing this because it's gonna get, because there's something here stopping the paint you're definitely going to see it. So you just spray a little bit on. In the corners, you always go a little darker. Um, I mean, no one's shipping order. No one's shipping orders. Hey, Pamela, thank you so much for reminding people to leave us your thumbs. See how faint that is? And it didn't even look like he had done any at all. Well, the, fun scary part. the fun, scary part, Jeff says, is next. Susan, I actually freehanded the original... And then now I have just an outline that I'll project up just to save time. I don't, I wish I had more time to freehand every one, but if the client wants something specific changed about it, or they want like a gap or a thinner lip or a plumper bottom, lip, whatever it is, braces, then I'll go in and I'll freehand from my um, master lip shape. They are all different though, because after I get the general shape, um, and I do that mainly for proportions sake, but after that, I, um, I'll go in and make adjustments with like the teeth or the drips so that each one of them is still unique. I have never resined an acoustic guitar, but I'm not opposed to it. I just worry that uh, it, it would change the sound of it. I guess if it was just for art's sake, it wouldn't be so bad. would love a lip cradle board. Um, that doesn't sound like it would be too difficult to do. Let me get with my builder and see what I can do for you, Stephanie. What's up, Clara? Congrats on your son's graduation. So what he just did is rough shading to give um, some shape to the tooth. And now he's using one of his stencils. Sorry, Bowie, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Um, to give a hard line and depth in between the teeth. Don Parker says, I liked and shared. Come on, guys, help him out. Thank you so much. You know, our friends at Stone Coat hit 1 million subs and they got their uh, gold YouTube plaque. I, want, I just, I would be happy with just the silver one. So if you guys could just help us out and like and share our videos, that'd be super awesome. What's the problem, big boy? What's the problem? What's the problem? Oh, Jenny, hi. How are you doing? I'll be down at Rhonda's again before too long. Hey, Debbie.
What should I say? Those are some pretty awesome teethies. Um, I want to say it's three pages. Well, I thought you were going to do a blend out for the background, but if no, then yeah, you're going to add swirly so that my, um, splotchy spray paint job won't be so evident. What Bubba? Hey, Vamp, if he's got stuff to do, he, he doesn't have to come in. I can handle him. Oh, I thought you were over there. I was yelling at nobody. Thanks, uh, Amy Evans. That's the 13th. Just got four paintings and two art shows and my jewelry and coasters in my first shop. Way to go, Jenny. Um, it would have to be a very, um, an outline type thing like the elephant, but yeah, I'm not opposed to it. So what are you doing over here, B? Just cleaning this all way up right there. So are you using, um, chemical or are you using just water? Water and water. Just, I wash it out first, then run the cleaner through it. Do you have to wash it out again after the cleaner? Um, yeah, it just kind of, it always seems like there's always a little bit more paint. Sometimes I'll leave it in, I'll leave the, the cleaner in there for a little bit and then like come back like an hour and dump it out and then redo it because some of that stuff just gets broken up and then you don't want it to dry inside your airbrush because then you have to clean it all over again, so. Pamela says, y'all go to a video after the live and leave a comment as well. It helps break the algorithms for the channel. It definitely does um, help the channel to have uh, more interaction. Oh, he's going to freehand doodle for y'all. I thought he was going to do the airbrush. Look how sparkly. Ooh. Yeah, he digs in his um, toy box. That's what he does. His hobbies are follows me around and digs in his toy box and then sleeps. That's it. That's that's how Bowie's do. I thought I would just kind of do a, a outline and just go from there and just do it. Thank you, Jenny. Still want to come down and do clay in South Texas. Oh, also, yeah, hanging in his fan. So he's doing black on black to make it kind of subtle. Would it be better for you if I cleared off the table and worked down? So right now it's very evident where the paint line is, except for this bit starting to dry. So you'll see the it'll difference. It'll be just enough. Like, it'll, it'll be, be just a hair. Subtle. So it won't be quite as evident. How fun is that? You can literally see it dry. 
right? Also, Bowie Hobby is chasing his cat. He's looking for him right now. Doing things like this is such a great um, thing to do if you're just trying to do art, but don't want to have to think too much about it. Try just doing a little bit of doodleage. Hey, little Lulu. I did mention that Bowie got scared by a rabbit, so here's what happened. Sorry, Bowie, I'm going to tell him. I'm just trying to get the cat to chase him. So what happened was, is while he was at his Grandma Judy's, um, they have a, uh, not a squirrel, a rabbit. And her name is... Liberty and she lives under the bridge in the backyard and apparently Bowie forgot about the rabbit that lives under the bridge in the backyard and she jumped out and scared him a little bit and apparently it was the funniest thing ever sad that I missed it but also poor thing so yeah so it's just barely there What do you guys think? I love it. Lerbert. I want to do a lip piece with Oaklawn. If I had the lotto, because that stuff's expensive. Stephanie, I didn't know you did lip pieces. Awesome. Love the tone on tone effect. Very classy. I concur. This is a little something in the background. Looks like velvet. I was trying to figure the word. Velvet. That makes sense. Annette says the scroll work is great. Thank you, ma'am. He who does not like glitter is not a human. Pretty sure that's written somewhere. Vamp, you good? I think Vamp just fell. Vamp down. Vamp down. Love black and white monochromatic elegance. All of your lip pieces are a little different. That's great. Exactly. I like to have them just slightly different. I don't want anybody ever to get a piece of original artwork from me and it be too similar to another piece that we've done. Jeff, actually, even if he has multiple people want the same piece, he won't do the same piece twice. Jenny says, I want to be him when I grow up and be able to draw more than um, stickies. Gorgeous. And while Vamp is busy hurting herself on accident, in the shop. I think she fell or something fell on her. Something there's gravity involved. That's all I know. I'm supposed to tell you guys that I have Bondi Blue back in stock. 
Hope she's okay. She's still yelling, so she's good. Background would be gorgeous in a bedroom. Concur. Everyone's saying be careful. She's doing her best to be careful, but Sam's going to vamp, you know? It's just important you do this to try to stay cohesive. Because if you go even just a little bit, like if I were to do one of these and then cross into the next one, that would just stick out because nothing else is crossed. Can you put just a something there? But I think it looks amazing and very eloquently spaced. So yeah, it would look different and awesome, but it would still have to be an outline type situation if I did it. Well, that's what I tried to do because I didn't want to, I didn't want to stop. So I kind of tried to just make an outline so that it's outlined. I think it is absolutely perfect. Can I say that's hot? Cause that's sexy. Don Parker loves it. Susan just used Bondi. In a Kentucky shaped geode. Well, that's, I love that. Is it weird that it made it sound, it made it sound more dimensional? Like it's. But it looks. It looks more depthy. So all Jeff wants for Christmas is an easel that lays flat. I always get nervous drawing on the painting because it works on the paper. But... Too big. You guys don't pre draw. Yeah, I just have to get a drafting table. But, yeah, I think it looks good. Susan, ours looks a hot mess as well. Don't feel bad. It does look velvety, doesn't it? Are you putting drippies? Well, thanks, Denise. Appreciate that. So, you guys, what do you think about our this? Leave me a thumbs if you liked it. If you didn't, uh, also leave me your thumbs. Tell me what you don't like down in the description box. Also, down in the description, what color should I do next time? Do you like the swirls? Yay or nay? Let me know. Anyways, y'all are amazing, and we will see you guys tomorrow at 2 p.m. Central for our next live. Um... So yeah, be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through. And always remember, when we do the test. So you don't have to. Yeah. Anyways, y'all are amazing. Uh, be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.